How many times must I tell you to be out of here by 8.25? Mr. Morgan will be down in five minutes. Going, going, gone. Good morning, Andrews. Oh, good morning, sir. Lovely day, isn't it? Yes, sir. You're four minutes early this morning, sir. Yes, I know, Andrews. But you see, uh, today is Mrs. Morgan's birthday, and I bought this to be a surprise. Madame is very fond of dolls, isn't she? Yes, Andrews. No matter how old a woman is, she's still a little girl at heart. Mm. <coughs> uh, hello. Uh, good morning, darling. Lovely day, isn't it? Why are you looking so guilty? Guilty? What time did you get home last night? Oh, about uh, 11 o'clock, wasn't it, Andrews? 11, right, sir. I assure you, though, dear, I, I, I'm not guilty of anything. Mm, I wonder. Serve breakfast. I'll be back in a few minutes. Yes, madame. Mr. Morgan, I believe madame thinks you've forgotten it's her birthday. <laughs> well, this is one time that I didn't forget. <laughs> Married life seems very difficult, sir. Not necessarily, Andrews. Uh, uh, why don't you try it sometime? I am afraid, sir, that to a poor man, a wife is a luxury. Yes. And to a rich one, a liability. You're quite uh, a philosopher, aren't you? Oh, no, sir. But I am an omnivorous reader. A, a what? An omnivorous reader. Well, I know, but uh, what has meat-eating got to do with it? Uh, meat-eating? <laughs> that is carnivorous, sir. Carnivorous? Oh, yes, yes. Sir. Omnivorous is from the Latin omnis. Omnivorous? No, 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 no. Meaning all, plus vorari, to devour. Yes. I know it had something to do with eating. <laughs> uh, which reminds me, uh, I think you better serve breakfast. Oh, right, sir. Omnivorous. Ah! Oh, Andrews, I've burnt my hand. Now what am I going to do? Doll's gone. If Mrs. Morgan ever finds out that a doll was burnt, it'll break her heart. Then I am afraid you have forgotten it is Mrs. Morgan's birthday. Yes, that's it. Uh, yes, dear. What's burning? Uh, burning? I don't smell it. What? Oh, it might be the toast. No, it, it smells like cloth. Cloth? Well... Well, you can't, uh, it's hard to say what they put in toast nowadays. Have you forgotten what day this is? No, my darling, and many happy returns. I got you a little surprise present, too. But, uh, I was too late to get it last night. Ah, oh, then you may kiss me. Thank you. <laughs> oh! But, now what? You were too late to get me a present. Yes. But you got yourself one, didn't you? My dear, uh, darling, you're quite wrong. That, that must have come off of the doll. What doll? But, I got you another doll. When you came down the first time, I naturally put it under my coat. And then when you went out, why, well, I put it on the mantelpiece and it fell into the fire. A fine story. I can prove it. Andrews was here. But, Andrews? Yes, sir. Allow I... me. Uh, Andrews, was there a doll burned here this morning? A doll? Oh, no, madame. Did you smell something? Now, don't take on, madame. I know how you feel about dolls, but I can assure you there's been no doll burned. Why, you with it? Of course there was. You was right here and saw everything. You saw me try to catch it when it fell off the mantelpiece of the fire and was burned. A, a doll, oh, sir? Oh, this doll has gone far enough. You were out with some dizzy blonde last night, and I'm going to find out who she is. Well, I tell you I wasn't. That hair came from the head of a doll. And this idiot Andrews is merely trying to uh, spare your feelings. Uh, that is true, madame. You see? Mr. Morgan did have a doll, and it did fall into the fire. You just said it didn't. Leave the room. Uh, yes, madame. But my darling... Shut uh, up. He's just coming to your rescue. You men always stick together. I've always suspected you. And now, I have proof. Pro oh, very well. <clears throat> then I was out with a dozen blondes last night. How do you like that? Goodbye. Josephine. Yes, madame? What would you say that is? Looks like a piece of stocking has been burned. Exactly, I'm sure it is. Andrews, where is Mr. Morgan? He's left for the office, madame. See. Send Marie up immediately to dress me. I'm going to see about this.
Will you quit kidding, honey, and tell me what this present is? You'll be surprised. Hi, baby. Pretty than ever this morning, I see. Say, how do you get that way? We are calling baby. Have we got my enlargement? Yes, Mr. Jones. The boyfriend? Never mind. <laughs> Say, who is that guy? He's Mr. Morgan's secretary, one of my best customers. I'd like to bust him one. Oh, Ernie, you're always starting something. Why don't you be nice? Well, when we get married, you ain't going to work behind that cigar counter. Now, if you'll smile, I'll give you a present. Now, you mustn't open it till you get home. See you tonight. You think Mr. Morgan will appreciate it? Let me say it first. <laughs> no, I don't think Mr. Morgan would appreciate it. That dizzy blonde downstairs gave me the wrong photo. Yeah, put these on Morgan's desk while I run down. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. What's good about it? I'll take these. Oh, but, but Mr. Morgan... I'll ring for you if I need you. I've got to get that photo before he sees it. Well, Henry, what's this, a hat thing? <laughs> that happens to be a paper clip. Oh, and I suppose it was not a woman's stocking you were burning this morning. I told you I burned a doll. Have the decency to look at me when you speak. <laughs> This is the woman. I've never seen it before. I, I don't know how it got here. Oh, and I suppose you don't even know who she is. But, why, that's the girl at the cigar counter. I buy cigars there, uh, naturally. Naturally? So you see her every day. Thanks. You'll hear from my lawyers. But darling, you're all wrong. Not wrong, but wronged. I'm going to wring somebody's neck. Jones, how did that photograph get on my desk? F photograph, sir? Yes, photograph. A photograph of that cigar girl downstairs. Aha! Uh -huh. Say, do the guards know you're out? Oh, so you're brazen about it. I'll take that out of you. You are, sir. What's that? Oh, you ordered it, sir. I ordered it. Another doll. <laughs> it went out the window, Mr. Morgan. Yes, and I hope it breaks its neck. Yes, sir. Dolls. Oh. Hiya, big boy. What's eating you? Plenty. So you've been too tiny with that shrimp upstairs. You're crazy. Oh, yeah? Look. Did I give you that? Yeah, looks like you slipped up that time. Now I get that baby stuff he was pulling. See, you made the headlines, Sophie. Had a girl. Well, I'll be. You give me the picture of one guy, and now you're being sued by the wife of another. But I don't even know Mr. Morgan. Looks like you're doing all right for a couple of strangers. I don't know how it happened, but he got the picture I intended to give you. That's your story, and it looks like you're stuck with it. Wait, Ernie! Wait! Hi, Sophie! There ain't no Sophie. Then let's get a picture of Morgan. Morgan in. Yes, ma'am. Hey, wait a minute. I want to see you. You can't go in there. Whose bright idea was this? A, she's done it. You know, I, I was afraid of that. Well, here's something else to be afraid of. Uh, to do it. Well, you boys can't go in there. But I, I, oh, 
Did you, did you hurt yourself? Oh. Oh, have you got a light? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, sir. Are you hurt? Did you get it? A pip. Oh, what a tragedy, Jones. What a terrible tragedy. You know, I never looked at another woman. Oh, I know, sir. It's very regrettable. Regrettable isn't the word for it. Now, if I'd been like other men... Uh, it's not too late to start. You're right. Just what do you mean? Uh, 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 just the fun you've missed. How dare you! Uh, oh, Jones, I'm ill. Open the window and let the doctor in. I mean, open, let the air in and, and get a doctor. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, stand it. Hello? Uh, just a moment, please. Uh, your wife's attorney, sir. <laughs> attorney? <laughs> oh, what next? Hello? Yes, yes. Uh, she wants a divorce. But it's a mistake. It's all that doll's fault. That... Yes, I know. We are naming her correspondent. Co I don't mean that one. I mean a real doll. Oh, there are others. That makes it all the better. Oh, I'm going mad. Everything I say or do is misunderstood. Now my wife's getting a divorce. I wonder what next. <laughs> oh. Hello? Yeah. I've an idea, sir, which may get you out of the, uh, soup. If you hadn't been such an idiot this morning, I wouldn't have been in the, uh, uh, soup. But what else could I do, sir? We could not let Mrs. Morgan know that the doll had actually been burned. Now, here's my plan. We must get a doll and burn it. I know, sir, we already burned one this morning, but what we need now is the corpus delecti. Uh, uh, just a minute. Ah, oh, there you are, George. Uh, I want you to go and get me a doll. You know, one of those French ones with the long dresses and the blonde hair. Another one? Uh, I brought you one this morning. Oh, yes. Yeah, I threw that one out the window. I have a different idea about this one. Uh, well... Hurry up. Hurry up! Yes, sir. Don't let him out until I get back. What's wrong? I don't know. He wants me to get him another doll. He threw the first one out the window. Now he's got another idea. Uh-oh. Maybe you better get a doctor, too. That's just what I'm going to do. Andrews, you're a genius. <laughs> Mrs. Morgan, why, uh, the, uh, pardon me. Where is this Mrs. Morgan? Uh, what is the name, please? So, there you are. Andrews, you may go. Yes, madame. What is the meaning of this? If you want to divorce your husband, you better find somebody else to pick on. I'm going to sue you, your attorney, and everybody else for putting my picture in the paper. Then why did you give it to my husband? I didn't give it to him. I had that picture taken for my sweetheart, and Jones got it by mistake. Ah, oh, so that's how it got in his office. Uh, would, would you come in here and sit down? He's in there. Well, you go in and give it to him. Who, me? Yes, I'll watch what he does. Here you are, Mr. Morgan. Ah, there you are, my boy. That's fine. Perfect. Jones, you know what I'm going to do? No, sir. I'm going to commit a horrible crime. I'll be in the other office if you want me, sir. Very well. Now, you see? There you are, my proud and haughty beauty. <laughs> Whether you know it or not, you're going to be a corpus delecti. Very, very shortly. Now, we'll see whether you like a little heat or not. You know, your sister got me into a lot of trouble once, but you're going to get me out of it. Ah, Bert, you feel that heat? How do you like it? <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> 
How do you like that? You will get me in a lot of trouble. I'll show you whether you will or not. Burn! 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 As a pyromania How do you like caused that? by the sudden release of a subconscious repression. Goodness gracious. Burning, eh? Come on. <laughs> Say, what is this? Hey, he, he, what, what can you get over it? What get over what? Just a mild attack. But the, well, why are you attacking me? Where's the Morgan? They're putting him in a straight jacket. Hey, straight jacket? Pick up. Just a moment now. We'll have this thing out of here. What has happened, Henry? <laughs> these these idiots have got the wrong man in the straight jacket. Oh. He's a good sign. He recognizes his wife. That's this is a terrible tragedy, Mrs. Morgan. His subconscious repressions burst. But I'll burst your repressions if I ever get out of this thing. But what did he do? <laughs> Nothing. Jones noticed his strange actions, and when he called me, we caught him burning a dog. Oh. <laughs> if that's all, you can let him loose. <laughs> Darling, I know all about the doll, the photograph, and everything. But it's about time somebody knew something about something. Let's oh. out of this thing. I'm terribly sorry I was so jealous, Henry, but I promise never to suspect you again. Oh, please forgive me. Well, but you ought to feel ashamed. Where's Morgan? He's busy. He's not too busy to see me. That just came out five minutes ago. Better not say this right now. You know perfectly well I've never held another woman in my arms. Is that so? How about this? <laughs> what? What is... Well, Henry... Uh, quick, doctor, the straitjacket. jacket. <laughs>